okay guys so i just left my hotel um heading to my new location my new hotel um this one i was staying in was called saffron door um hotel in global and it was literally 1.5 just under two kilometers away from the main center from the town center but the one i'm going to um it's a bit further out a little bit it says apparently six kilometers out of the away from the town center so hopefully it's not gonna be too far and of course i'm hoping it's a good place um i booked it again from booking.com um, the website i'm always using um, to book these hotels so yeah in the car right now booked with kareem app and we're on the way now so when i get there i'm gonna show you guys how the place looks like so again um i um, advise you guys when you get to the place to the new place you get to ask them to see the place first um, to make sure that the room you booked is what they're giving you uh, just in case you know you try to play games like sometimes some hotels do so hopefully it is going to be the room i booked so yeah i'll show it to you guys when i get there and if there's any you know nonsense i'll tell you guys as well so yeah we're in the car there we go going on guys so I uh, just arrived at the hotel that I told you about um, I'm gonna be staying here for three days three nights and yeah I just wanted to show you guys how this place looks like so I'm outside and this is what you see as you get outside it's literally like on the main road kind of thing uh, there's like a cricket field right in front of the hotel and there's so much action going on which I like obviously there's some markets over here people selling stuff it's very busy which is good so this is the name of the hotel up here Park View Hotel in this area called Goodberg. Uh, it's not too far from the other hotel I stayed in. So when you come here, there you go, Park View Hotel. Uh, this is the reception right here. You come through here, and uh, it's the reception right here. As you can see over there, that's the reception. I uh, got some times over there, clocks, London time and stuff, which is good. So uh, this is like the lobby. You can see some seats over there too some water area over there so the rooms are down this side so you come through here there's a corridor here i don't know why it's got 101 and 102 i don't think they've got more than 100 rooms in here but anyway as you can see this is the corridor mm, maybe the walls need a bit of work but what i like about this corridor is the mirrors as you can see on the wall uh hello you dropped your bag my friend and I have a big mirror right here right outside my room so this is my room right here 104 and there's cameras here for security which is good so this is my room right here as we enter of course I wanted to make this video for you guys as soon as I walked in the room before um, anything gets messed up because I wanted to show it to you guys as soon as I walked in so you can see how it looks like as soon as you know you check in so they um this is the room right here um when i got here they were still cleaning i got here exactly at 12 um checking times at 12 o'clock so this is what you see as you walk in the room my back is against the door uh obviously up here we've got a mirror out here on the wall i guess it's to check yourself before you step out uh got a little table here um i don't know what it's for there's a little bin under there let's go to the bathroom first um as you can see guys um there's a sink over here, I really tried water, shower head here. Um, again, um, it's the same design with the shower head in the open space where the toilet is. That's where the toilet is, right there. Okay, I've got a little bin right here. They give you a towel, as you can see, right there. Um, again, these walls, man, they, need, they definitely need a bit of work. Um, first impressions, um, not too impressed by the way the hotel looks. It looks a bit, you know, beat up, a bit old. Maybe it needs a bit of work, but you get what you paid for. I'm paying just under 60 pounds for three nights. So it's pretty cheap, like, I don't know, like 20 pounds per night. Uh, maybe in some areas you might say it's not too cheap, but yeah, so this is what you get for like, um, I'll tell you exactly how much it is in the, in the description. Um, I can't quite remember, but it's definitely under 70 pounds. So anyway, 
that was the washroom um this is the bed area you got a little table right there in the corner with a phone uh to call reception or whatever um we got some ac up here and on the roof as well we've got a fan right there and this is the bed um it's quite spacious so this is a deluxe double room which i always book um so um, flat screen tv right here I have a clock up there and I have a little table down here okay a little wardrobe up, up here there we go my bag is in there I already put my bag in there um just one hanger <laughs> maybe if I ask them for some more hangers they might give me some but sitting area here a uh, little table here which will come in handy for my laptop as well and uh, have a little working area over here hopefully these plugs on the side of the bed work because that's important you know when you're charging your phones and all of that so guys this is the room and have a plug over here i haven't you know checked them yet but hopefully they do work so guys this is the room all right okay so let's sit on the bed um yeah so this is the room guys i wanted to show you um this hotel um from the other hotel i was staying at um it was like maybe 10 minute drive in the car so it's not too far out and um yeah the difference um i think the other area is a bit more exclusive it's closer to the town center and the whole road i was staying on um i checked out a few hotels on the main road uh, on the same road as i was staying on because um i had to check out today before i booked this on booking.com i actually walked and checked out a few hotels on the same road and the prices were quoting me when you walk into hotels and stuff it's so weird like they always quote you, they, they quoted me um higher prices than you find on booking.com which is a bit weird so i don't know if that's how it works but it was weird so they quoted me some weird prices and some of them had no rooms available so i was like you know what i stayed in that area for a few days and i was like you know what let me change you know um, the surroundings and go check out different areas so even though this this hotel is like in the same um town this town called goodberg goodberg i believe goodberg but it's in a different area um of town so yeah um that's why i came out here so i'm about to go out and explore uh, buy a few things get some snacks and yeah settle in you know get some editing done but yeah quickly i just want to show you guys this hotel right here and yeah um hopefully my stay here will be good and of course i'll give you my my overall thoughts of the whole place when i'm when i'm leaving on my last day all right guys catch you on the next one time mm -hmm. london uh parkview hotel here in goodberg um lahore okay guys 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 my people this is the bullshit i'm always talking about this is the bs i'm always telling you guys about see this is what, you know what, before I even go into this, I'm a bit pissed off right now, but it's 50-50. A bit pissed off, but happy at the same time. Before I continue to tell you what the hell just happened here, you guys better, look, subscribe quickly, 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 subscribe. Five, four, two, three. Oh, see, I'm even a bit, because I'm a bit um, pissed off right now. Anyway, subscribe to this channel, man. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. So, guys, as you just saw in this video, I just showed you when I arrived at this hotel. I just showed you. Um, I walked the hotel, showed you how the hotel looked like outside, and I went, you know, through the corridor and I showed you my room, right? So, now you saw, right, um, how the room looked like, right? You're probably thinking, yeah, this is a bit, yeah, a bit rubbish, right? I didn't like it, but I was thinking, you know what? I'm here for three days, um, but let, let me just try and, you know, um, tolerate it and, you know, stay in it, um, here. Keep in mind, since I've been here in Pakistan, from all the way from Karachi, I stayed in about two places in Karachi before I came here. And I got here to Lahore. I just moved from my first place, which I made a video about. Um, you, you've seen it before this one. And then this is my second place here in Lahore. And I always make videos about these places. So I got here, the place I just showed you, right? and I walked in. That's the room they gave me when I walked in. Now, I was sitting there, right, trying to charge my phones, put plugs in there. Plugs weren't working on the, on the walls. Plugs weren't working like the other hotel I stayed in in Karachi. Now, 
I'm, I'm thinking, okay, look, um, it's bad enough that this room is not up to standards or whatever. Like, I'm not really feeling the room, the vibe wasn't, you know, there wasn't right. Guys, that's why you should always listen to your intuition. You should always listen to your gut. When your gut is telling you, nah, this is not the one, change it, go find something else. So anyway, I tried to try, but you know, my gut was telling me, bro, really, you really want to stay here? Go find another place. So anyway, and keep in mind, um, when, you're, when you book hotels on booking.com, um, they give you a certain amount of time you can cancel um, your booking. So I still had, you know, it's only, um, I don't know how, what's the time? Let me see the time. Okay, it's only 10, um, 1.50 here, uh, 10 minutes to 2 o'clock, and I still got up to 6 o'clock to cancel. No, actually, to 5 o'clock to cancel, so I still got, you know, plenty of time. So anyway, I go to charge my phones, the plug, um, the sockets weren't working. So I put my plugs in, my ch charging plugs for my phones, the sockets weren't working. Anyway, so I'm thinking, bruh, how the hell am I going to stay in this room where the sockets are not working? So anyway, I'm thinking, you know what, well, let me just go back on Booking.com and book another hotel. So that's what I did. I went Booking.com, I booked another hotel, which obviously I was like, you know what, I'm not comfortable here. Let me try and get something a bit comfortable. So I go back on Booking.com and I booked another place, right? So I got my bags in my room or whatever, made my way to the reception. And I'm like, hey, my friend, listen, I'm not going to stay here, bro. And he's like, why? I'm like, I don't like the place. Um, First of all, I can't even charge my phones. I can't, like, I work on my laptop. So how am I going to work here if I can't, you know, charge my laptop and stuff like that? So he says to me, okay, there's um, there's other rooms. Why don't you go take a look before you go? I said to him, okay, cool. Let me see them. Because in my mind, I'm like, I'm already here. Let me see them if they're, you know, not up to standards, if they're rubbish as well. I'll keep moving and just go to the one I just booked. So anyway, so I go upstairs. This is a completely different area. I come upstairs and i come into this room right here this room that i'm making this video in this when when, when i walked into this room i this is exactly this is this um the exact room um that i booked on the website but when i got here they gave me a normal double room that i just showed you guys earlier now this is a this is a double deluxe room which is different so a deluxe room is supposed to be more spacious a bit more the quality is supposed to be a bit more higher and yeah, so it's obviously it's deluxe double room. It's different from just a normal double room. So originally they gave me a double room, which was a bit trash, to be honest, because you guys saw um, the walls were, you know, like uh, the paint was coming off the wall. Like you, it was crazy. So anyway, before I go any further, I'm gonna show you this room anyway that I just got now. So this is what I booked originally on the website, a double deluxe room. But when I came here, they didn't give me this room and this is why I always guys I'm gonna keep singing the same song and make sure when you go to these hotels you always always make sure you get the room that you book because they're always they're gonna try you honestly they're gonna try you. this is the second time remember when I went to when I was still in Karachi when I made the video you probably seen before this one they gave me a different room to the one I booked so now I come to this place and they do the same shit it's annoying it's annoying and that's why you guys have to be aware you know make sure you get the room that you book for so anyway without further ado let me show you this room that um i'm in now because this is what i originally booked and they gave me a different room which was a bit trash if you saw the um the video from the beginning so anyway as we always do there we go back against the door this when you come in um this room this is what you see as you can see straight away it's much more spacious it's huge this is what i booked so as soon as you come in look you got two nice chairs here um, this room can occupy two people comfortably so you've got two chairs here kind of reminds me of the hotel i was staying in in um in karachi the the last hotel i before but uh, i left before i came here a small flat screen tv here i hardly watch tv so but it's there a nice little table there in between the chairs um a nice little cushion seat over there in the corner and look at that nice table as you can see very spacious the room is very spacious and then over here We've got a table over here and a mirror on the wall right there. And this is the big room. This is the big bed, as you can see. Huge, huge room. Okay. So when I came up here, I made sure that, you know, the, the sockets are working. So I asked the guy to bring me a um, extension cord because again, look, this, the, the sockets are literally right behind the table. So it's hard for you to actually reach and all of that stuff. I don't know why they do that, but anyway, 
So at least I've tried out the, um, the extension cord and it's working. At least I can charge the phone, so that's cool. And the good thing is where the small fridge is over there, they give you a, a little small fridge, which is good. There's another you know socket over there. I can just unplug the fridge and use that um, when I'm on my laptop, which I will do because I don't really use the, the fridges here. So, yeah, so this is the bed right here, which is nice and big. And some nice artwork right there above the bed. And over here, they gave you a nice sofa to sit on. Beautiful room, I must say. Nice room. And then as we go into the bathroom, as you can see, much more clean. The toilet's over here. Nice and um, separate from, um, you know, the shower. The shower area's over here. Obviously, the towel is here. And as you can hear, the traffic outside. Yeah, so everything is cool out here. Let me try and see if I can actually, if the toilet flashes properly. Don't want to touch the toilet. Guys, will excuse me. This is what I always do when I don't want to touch anything that might think it might be a bit dirty. So I get the tissue. There you go. Lift it up with the tissue. Throw the tissue in there. And... Yeah. It flashes very well. And I'm sure, you know, the taps work as well. I don't want to wet myself out here. Uh, hey, are the taps working? Ah, there we go. Yes, it's working. Okay, switch it off, switch it off. There we go. Okay, it's working, people. It's working. All right. Yeah, the floor's a bit wet, but it's okay. We've got a towel. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so. Nah, this, this is beautiful. A huge mirror right here. There we go. Okay, let me complete the stop. There we go. All right, a huge mirror right here. Let me see if I can put on the lights. Okay, the lights on. That's enough. It's bright enough. Okay, so guys, this is the place. This is the new place I moved into. Nice little, um, been right here in the corner. The sink is cool. It works. Cool. We give you some shampoo over here. I believe maybe this is just body wash. Okay, so yeah, this is the bathroom. So finally, we got a nice room that we actually booked for. As you can see from the washroom, this is what you see a big wardrobe over there. And yeah, this is the room right here. And this is me sitting on a on the couch out here and it's what you see there we go that's the bed right here all right so double deluxe room here at this park view hotel here in Goulburg and this is what you see from outside a little bit of a view not the best but it's cool it's better than where I was <laughs> I was literally on the bottom floor you couldn't see shit outside but this is a bit you know it's okay. All right. Okay, guys. So, yeah. There you have it. So, make sure when you actually book hotels, um, everywhere you go, man, not just here in Pakistan, man, like everywhere you go, make sure when you book your hotels, when you, when you, book, uh, when you book your hotel room, make sure you're getting exactly what you booked because these people are cheeky sometimes. You come to the hotel and they'll try you and give you something that you didn't book for to try and see if you know. Like, just make sure every detail um, is what you book. Um, because, yeah, they tried to play me again. But your boy wasn't having it. So I was about to leave to go, you know, check into a different hotel here in Lahore. But luckily, <laughs> uh, the guy probably thought, oh, I'm gonna lose a customer here. Let me give him, you know, a better room. So yeah. And this is what I booked for anyway. So, all right guys, so I just showed you the room. Make sure, the message, make sure you follow through and you get what you book because you're gonna pay for it. Do you understand? Don't pay for what you didn't book because they tried to give me just a regular double room when they're charging me for the price for a double deluxe room, which I was supposed to get. And in the end, it worked out, you know? Thank God. <laughs> all right guys, so. Time London, catch you on the next one.